When you're passing data to an LLM, you've got to be really careful about how that data is formatted. Otherwise, it might cost you a ton. We've got here a bunch of video transcription data in a JSON file. I want to give this to an LLM to basically tell me what was said in the conversation and ask some questions about it. And it's going to be pretty tempting just to take this JSON, stringify it, and pass it directly to the LLM. But doing that would be a huge waste of tokens. Here I'm taking that file, reading it into memory, and turning it into tokens via tick tokenizer using the same tokenizer that GPT-40 uses. And we can see that this JSON file gets turned into 2,350 tokens. If you want to know why this specific number, then check out my video on tokens. But we can actually get this number down and cut it nearly in half by using a custom format. Let me show you what I mean here. Let's first take this JSON data and pass it into some formatted data. And then we're going to map over each member of that JSON array and turn it into a single line where we just have item speaker, item confidence, item text, item item start, item end, all separated by these little bars here. Then we're going to join that together with this new line and stick a header line on top so the LM knows what each column represents. Then we're going to grab the tokens out of this by just encoding the tokens with the header line at the top and then the formatted data. When we run this, instead of 2,300 tokens, we've cut it nearly in half to 1,200 tokens. Over a much larger data set, this is going to be even more impactful. So I strongly recommend that whenever you're passing data to an LLM, use your own custom format. It's going to save you both time and money.